What is good, MoDZ fam? So, as you know, we won't be in school for the next couple weeks. So, this video is to introduce you to our digital learning platform, as well as share some of the expectations that uh, I'll be having for you for the next couple weeks. Alright, so, uh, you should be logged into your Google Classroom account. So I'm going to log into my third period living environment. And you'll see some assignments and documents already posted up. Uh, so right here is your first assignment. Here is a document. And here is a discussion question. So uh, I'm going to start with this document, which is the Living Environment Remote Learning Syllabus. Um, this is basically the plan that we'll be following for the next couple weeks. Hello, when we last met, we had just started Unit 5, Comparative Reproduction. My expectation is that we'll finish this unit remotely over the next three weeks. Every week, we'll end in a region-space quiz based on the topics we discuss. Please be sure to put in time to each lesson, and remember that as of right now, we're still preparing for a Regents exam in June. Reproduction can get a little complicated, so it's essential that you read all lessons with intent to understand not just to find answers and finish your work. Some of the expectations that I'll have for you for the next couple weeks. Each week, you'll, you will receive two assignments on Google Classroom. Each lesson will consist of a short written assignment, as well as a video explaining the concept of the lesson. There may be an additional page or video which outlines or explains the diagram or gives examples of problems, kind of like this. Each lesson will be followed by an exit ticket. The expectation is that the lesson is read thoroughly before the quiz has been started. The lesson should take 10 to 15 minutes to read through and about 25 to 30 minutes to complete. Each lesson will have additional practice questions, links to Google Forms, and links to helpful YouTube videos. Additionally, I'm working to record my own video resources to help students who are struggling to focus or understand. Feel free to follow along with my videos as you complete your lesson. Certain lessons will have additional homework questions posted. These will also be assigned through Google Classroom. So this part is very, very important. On Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., the science department is going to have office hours through Zoom. Basically, what we'll do during this time is we'll host video calls where we can go through lessons, go through some of the assignments. Um, that'll be your opportunity to ask me questions um, and kind of make it feel like we're back in class again. So here's a brief outline of uh, some of the things we'll be going over for the next couple weeks. So this week, Monday, March 23rd, uh, you'll be watching this video, Welcome to Digital Learning. Uh, and there are two assignments, um, well, Two assignments posted up for this week already. Uh, for week two, week three, and week four, there will also be assignments posted on Google Classroom. So let's take a look at um, this first assignment. So our first assignment is on a platform called Nearpod. Nearpod is a really cool platform because um, it allows you to go through a PowerPoint self-paced and interact with your classmates. So I noticed uh, Kiara here was having some trouble figuring this out. So once she watches this video, um, this should make it a little bit more clear to her. So I go by clicking the Nearpod assignment, and it will bring you to this page. Um, so it's going to give you a, a, a login name. So please be. Um, appropriate with your login name. I'm going to join the session. This this first Nearpod is about germs and healthy and staying healthy. Um, just in time for, you know, what's going on in the world right now, we can get a better understanding of uh, how to protect ourselves in this time. So you'll notice on the left and the right, there are some arrows for you to go forward and backward. So I'm going to continue through. Uh, the lesson starts off with the essential questions. What are germs? How do they make us sick? And how can we prevent them from spreading? 
this is a little information about the lesson the learning objectives so after you complete this lesson you'll learn what germs are and how some of them can make us sick uh, you're going to compare viruses and bacteria in this lesson and you're also going to explore ways to prevent the spread of disease such as viruses and bacteria so let's get started so this is really cool um, so this is called a collaboration board and the question here is what are viruses explain in your own words um, so again share what you think about viruses by typing in the text box below uh, so I see a student here earlier answered a virus is an infectious agent that can infect and make any living thing sick someone else mentioned viruses are bacteria that are harmful to ourselves so when I want to add I might say the corona virus is a dangerous pathogen and if I wanted to add a picture to my post I would click that little icon maybe look up coronavirus and there's a little cool image there and I would post that. So now when my classmates go through, they can also see um, some of the other ideas that, that we're having about this topic. As you continue through, there's some interactives. Um, you'll be able to take a deeper look at a virus and scroll around and see um, the different characteristics of it. You can also draw. My little sad virus. More interesting information. And there's also videos uh, within these Nearpods too. So uh, as I was going through, I noticed some of the videos, they won't play. But if you uh, you'll be able to watch that video about how viruses attack the cell. But as you continue through, um, there are some open-ended questions you can answer. How would you define germs? I would define a germ as that, that, that. And you would submit that response. All right. I hope that was helpful in um, understanding Google Classroom and, and how to complete some of these assignments. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in our stream or save them for our Zoom chats on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 12 to 1 p.m. Look forward to working with you over the next couple weeks, and I can't wait to get back to school. Bye, guys.